All right, guys. Well, it's about time I start putting some water blocks on these graphics cards. They're going to get old and dusty by the time I uh, get to them, and the uh, and the new graphics cards are going to be out already. But these are still kick-ass great cards, so I'm sticking with it. And uh, what we have here now is both the the two G4 CTX 980 Ti's Asus Strix cards, and we also have the blocks for it. So I have uh, then get one of these guys out, just take a look at it, and then we'll get into putting the water block on. Let's see, let's get one of these out of the way. We have the instructions here, which are always good to reference. Complete set of pads and gaskets and everything you need. The one thing that's nice about Fitz Power is they give you um, really nice back plates. I mean, you, know, you pay for it either way, but they're included with the block that you get. And here is that fabulous Strix block. pretty. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this aside because we're going to have to take the, the air cooler off of this uh, card here. Beautiful blocks, two of them. 
All ready now. All ready, ready, Freddy, to be mounted inside here. Boy, they're going to be kind of tall, huh? Yep. It's going to be very interesting to see. To see these guys mounted inside of there. But they do look pretty sharp. I must say so myself. They're very pretty cards. Now, both of these cards are more powerful than three of the regular 980s, which I happen to have inside of my STH-10. So yeah, boys and girls, these cards are not going to go in there. They're going to go on STH-10. So here's the plan. I'm going to undo this plug and then undo this plug. I'm going to hold up this little funnel here and hopefully catch it all inside of this bottle. If not, I have a tray down here to spill into and I also have this protected. So actually I'm going to do, undo this one first. Might be better if I shorten the tube. Oh. I got the cap in here. All right, so you notice a little bit of coolant has come out, but not much because there's no air yet. And this is going to be interesting to catch all this. But we're going to go with it. Ready? There we go. Oh. All right. There you go. See, we are draining GPUs right now. Of course, there is no power to the system at all. And the coolant for the GPU that uh, well, it looks like uh, yeah we're getting some good drainage here see some of the uh, coolant in the loop uh, in the reservoir has gone down quite a bit but I know it's not coming up through here right so you know it's not going up against gravity and anything in the top loop has already been uh, the top of those tubes there has come through so right now I'm just getting the rest of this All right, I'm gonna alrighty oh, we're still getting some coolant to do is I got to remove these guys here and this one here. I'm going to move this one first and see if I can cap it with the plug that I took out right here. So let's see what I can do here. So we still got some coolant dripping. But I think I'm going to put a cap in it for now. Oh, I do. 
I should tie this guy off in some way. going on here right now. And I'll just do one GPU at a time. All right, now we're going for number two. Let's remove power. And let's unscrew. Things. This guy also has to be disconnected from the tubes. Okay, card number two is out. I'm gonna go rinse him off. Okay, well we still have. You see some coolant right there, so we need to do some more uh, draining. So we're going to go with this plan we had before for right now. Get the residual stuff out. Oh, let me get this power. So here we have this big beautiful Strix card all ready to rock and roll. You see? And one of the things to note is this card requires two 8 pin connections. And you'll notice these cables here, the, the reference ones were only six pins. So I've got to put additional cables in. Now these were custom made. But this is not my first rodeo. So at the time I had the custom cables made, let's see what I got in my design for Paragon bag of tricks. I have additional cables that were made up specifically for in case I wanted to go to an eight pin power section. So thank goodness I thought of that. I got it covered. 
and um, make sure that these go in properly. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of turn this around and de depin them from the uh, remove them from the power supply and then then put these in. So uh, you know they're pretty straightforward. You know if you haven't seen this is the standard Molex uh, pin and it's the same as you know I mean the same as there are the ones that are in there now so I'm gonna go ahead and put them I need only so it's two cards I'll need four of them and I have exactly that so uh, let me get this guy spun around get the cables out get them wired up lace back in here and then we'll get ready to rock and roll some more so All right, time to remove the back door. So easy to do with a Case Labs system case. All right, so I also need to have access to the upper section here. I don't know if you guys can see that right now. All right, so I have all my power cables coming here. Now there's one set that we're not going to need right now and we're just going to have those tied up and out of the way so that's these guys right here now that we have the connections all done I'm going to tie wrap them to their respective bundles Okay, so hopefully that was successful. Well, if I have to troubleshoot any wiring, then at least I know it's you know what I did right here, so I can get to that easily. Now let's get this thing turned back around and get some graphics cards installed. The beauty of having a case lapse case, well, if it's this big, really you should get it on wheels anyway. But having the casters as an option is awesome. Alright. I'll get the cables fixed away once I get the GPUs installed here. So let's get um let's get GPU number one son. We're going to have to figure out some positioning for the um, for the tubing, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. And since it's a bits power, it's the same LED, so we'll see. I don't think it matters. You're not going to see these LEDs so much anyway, but I'm still going to try to plug them back in. Right now, it's just getting the uh, graphics cards installed. Boy, these are big puppies. Holy mackerel. Okay, we have the graphics cards in, we've got the power connected up. Before I start playing with uh, the additional tubing to get things straightened up there, one thing I need to do is um, I want to install the Intel, the Intel NVMe drive, so let me grab that. Okay, 
So before I cover up access to this card, we got to get this Intel Solid State Drive installed. Intel card, maybe that'll look cool. And I do need to find a filler plate here. So let me go find that. Looks like I'm going to be able to now connect up <clears throat> this tubing here to the bottom graphics card like we did before. So let's see if we need any special pieces or extensions. Um, I'm hoping that we don't, but these cards are a little bit bigger, so it looks like that piece may have to be extended out. So let's see here, let's get this in here. as clean and right angles not all the angles that I had as far as um, when I had the three GTX 980s in there but these TIs are gonna kick some butt all the cards in there look good and we're gonna hide a couple of uh, LEDs under here here we go all right let's take some pictures of that All right, so I have some more pastel black concentrate. So we have some here. I mixed some more into uh, the container I had with some uh, distilled water. And what I'm going to do now is I've rigged up a uh, with a compression soft tube fitting and a funnel. I'm going to pour some into the reservoir. And I removed this particular um, plug from the reservoir so that we'd have some air that would allow me to fill it up. I have been tightened up the plug on this graphics card. Make sure that these two guys are sandwiched together well. Tighten this one up. You saw me install the extra length of fitting here and right here. So I think we're good. Don't think I have any uh, leakage potentials, but we'll find out. Right now I'm just going to fill up the res. Okay, I have it filled up just about as far as it was filled up. And uh, I don't know if you can see, but we have uh, coolant making its way through the GPUs already, which is pretty cool. And I will probably fill a little bit more. And I just want to take a couple of shots because it looks really cool. Move lens cap, probably a good thing. All right, how about a little bit more? Think we're good there. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I don't recommend this to anybody new doing this, but since we know this system worked 
absolutely just fine prior to removing the graphics cards and adding the power. Now I'm not concerned about the power to the graphics cards. What I want to make sure right now is I have no leakage, no leaks. So um, I'm going to fire up the system, but I'll have my hand on the power switch. So I need to get back here and get the power cord ready. And then we're going to turn on the system and let the pump and everything run. If I got any leakage, I'm going to shut it down. So, all right, we have power to the system. Let's see if I can get you positioned a little bit better. And okay. I'm going to turn on the power. We should see coolant flow and hopefully pray no leaks. Oh, well, we will have to hit the power button. Okay, so far so good. I know we have a lot of uh, foam going on in the reservoirs, but that's just because of the power of the pump once it gets going. And then sometimes if you actually, um, you know, top them off a little bit, it helps. have a couple of plugs so we're good right now no leakage I have no idea what the graphics cards are doing but I think we're good to go all right I'm going to shut down the system And now I'm going to remove this. Let me plug this guy up. Well, seeing as how they're not exactly the same, let's have about just a little bit more. Put a little too much in. All right. Now let's get this cleaned up.
Time to get it cleaned up, get the system down on the ground and make sure everything else is properly functioning. Like the GPUs are coming up. So I don't have cables to reach all the way to the bench. I'm going to do it. I'm going to pray that everything is just fine and do it on the floor and you'll see it come up. Now we had EVGA graphics cards in there. So with an EVGA graphics card, triple, we had a triple EVGA bridge, SLI bridge. Now that we have two ASUS Strix, I think this is more appropriate. What do you think? Okay, we have the system back down, running safely. We have the Intel 1.2 terabyte NVMe ready and rocking and rolling. Two Strix 19 Ti, 980 Ti's. Well guys, that's it for this video. The upgrade of the STH-10 Monsta with the GTX 980Ti's and the Intel 1.2 terabyte NVMe drive. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please like and favorite. And if you're so inclined, please subscribe. And catch me back with an update of the RGB Skylake build after this uh, little uh, interruption that we had here for this upgrade. Anyway, that's it for Ron's and Nut. Thanks for watching.